Hi everybody, so today we are going to begin our first piece of literature together. As you know from having reviewed the course description, our first unit of study is going to focus on the narrative, both personal and fictional narratives, um, where we really start looking at characters who are um, all about their identity. And this first story is a story that I always like to start my school year off with because um, it's about a teenage girl who, much like you, is trying to decide exactly which parts of herself she's going to choose to let other people um, know about. Um, this story is about culture. This story is about heritage. This story is about family. This story is about friendship. And when we think about our own personal identity, um, sometimes those are parts that become a big, big part of who we are as well. So without further ado, I would like to introduce you to a story called Who Are You Today, Maria? by Judith Ortiz Kofer. Abuela knocks on my bedroom door. She has come to my room this morning to choose to watch me choose my outfit for Who Are You Day at school. This is a day when we are allowed to dress in clothes that we think tell the world who we really are. Within reason, our principal warned, no extremes will be tolerated. I hope that her definition of the word extreme is the same as my friend Whoopi's. Nothing that she will put on this morning has ever been seen on this planet, much less at school. Abuela makes herself comfortable on my bed as I put on my costume of myself made up of pieces of my life. I thought about my Who Are You Day outfit a lot. Mr. Golden told us in English class to think about our choices. Are you going to walk around as a joke or as a poem? I have a suspicion that our teachers have allowed us this chance to dress up as ourselves for a reason. Our school is already a United Nations, a carnival, and a parade all at once. There are students from dozens of countries, and we don't always get along. Most of us are too shy to talk to others outside our little circles, and so misunderstandings come up. The principal has tried almost everything. The Who Are You Day is another of her crazy ideas to get us to communicate. In each of my classes, the teacher said, let us know something about what has made you who you are by what you wear to school tomorrow. It all sounds like a conspiracy to me, but I like dressing up, so I do not complain like the boys have been doing. Most of them hate the idea. Abuela looks at my choices hanging on the door and shakes her head smiling like she did when we went to see cats. It is a smile that says, I do not understand, but if it is important to Maria, I will bear it the best I can. She is elegant, even at 7 a.m. in her embroidered silk robe and red velvet slippers. She has wrapped a shawl over her shoulders because she is always cold in our cueva, as she calls the apartment. The shawl has, was handmade by her mother, and it is Abuela's most prized possession. As a little girl, I like to put it over my head because the sat pattern of sequins made a night, full, night sky full of stars and because it smelled like Abuela. Abuela sips from her cup of cafe con lanche as she watches me. I feel a little strange about being in my underwear in front of her and go in my closet with my choices, which are my mother's red skirt that she wore when she had a part in a musical play on the island. I have played dress up with it since I was five years old, but it fits, finally fits me perfectly. It's the kind of skirt that opens like an umbrella when you turn in circles. A top I sewed together from an old sari Uma's mother was going to throw away. It is turquoise blue with silver edges. And finally, over my sari, I will wear my father's shark skin suit jacket. It's big on me, but I can roll up the sleeves. It is what he likes to wear when he sings at rent parties. Under the light, it changes color and seems to come alive as the design shifts and moves. Papa says it's great for dancing and you don't even need a partner. And finally, tall platform shoes we found buried deep in Whoopi's closet circa 1974, she told me. Whoopi collects antique shoes to go with her science fiction outfits. It's a fashion statement, and she will tell anyone who asks. No one knows what the statement means, and that's just fine with Whoopi. When I part the clothes in my closet and I come out like an actor in a play, Abuela's eyes open wide. Before she can say anything, I point to each piece of my outfit and say a name. Mommy, Papi, Uma, and Whoopi. Abuela's face changes as she begins to understand the meaning of my fashion statement. Ahora sé quién eres, Marita. Y quién puedes ser si quieres ven acá a mi amar. Abuela says that she knows who I am and who I may be if I choose. 
I have heard those words before, but I don't remember when or where. Abuela embraces me and kisses my face several times. This is a Puerto Rican thing. It goes on for a while. I close my eyes to wait it out, and I suddenly inhale a familiar scent. When I open my eyes, I see a starry sky. Abuela has put her shawl over my head. Algo mio para tu día de ser quien es, eres mi hija, she tells me. Something of mine for your day of being who you are. She is letting me borrow her mother's beautiful shawl. All day at school, I feel elegant. Whenever anyone tries to make fun of my costume, I think of the words of my grandmother quoted to me. I know who you are and who you may be if you choose. And when I go into Mr. Golden's class and his eyes ask me, who are you today, Maria? I will say by the way I walk in, head held high, that today I am a poem. <laughs>